When we originally acquired her villager, I really didn't know what to do with it. The technique was very complicated, even though it seems like you could replicate it easily, but it's not. It is about the tensions, about the knit, the hand details on it. So I think really the pivoting moment was when we did the runway show. I didn't think we could actually do it. We did hand painting on top of the bandages. We sculpted everything. I mean, it was truly a couture show. And that was, I think, the breaking moment that I knew that we can continue this brand and, and really elevate it to that next level. You know, we have a sign before you come to design room that says you have to lose your fear of being wrong to be truly creative. And so what we do is we take bandage and we do everything with it. Literally, we have books and books of development that we've done and we continue doing development. Any idea you tell me that I can't do it, and I'll probably do it. So I think it's also understanding woman's body shape and understanding what will look great on her and just having fun. I mean, I love challenges. Our inspiration really came from my travel. So I was in Barcelona uh, in September and we went to the cathedral, which is called Sagrada de Familia. When you walk in, it's all about life. Everything is bursting with life. It's incredible. And at the end of the cathedral is death. So it's all black and it's dark. So the way the whole show starts off is white and there's birds, jacquard. And so everything is just like illuminating, you know, and then at the end it just gets darker. One of the things that people don't know is that Harvey Leger is a knit, it's not a woven. Those dresses are actually knits. And so they created this, the most amazing piece of art I've ever seen. So, and that's gonna go down the runway. And the music is like you are in the most inspiration. It's just the whole thing. Like I, I heard the music, I wanted to cry. And make sure you follow Saks during the New York Fashion Week.